This video unit is drawn more from my personal experience than from any kind of formal research, and it concerns watermelons. There's a small Mexican village which I visited many times. It's called San Agustin Huapan, and it has about 1,500 inhabitants. Some of the individuals in San Agustin, they grow watermelons, and they grow them down by the river. The river itself fertilizes the bank of the river, so there's no formal fertilizer they need to spend money on. And also, in this village, wage rates are pretty low, so quite commonly an individual might work and earn, say, a dollar or two a day. So you have zero fertilizer costs, and you have very low wage costs. And if a watermelon is going to be sold, well, when it is ripe, they take it from the river, and they basically walk it up. It's a short 10 or 15 minute walk, and they bring it to a house in town where it's stole, sold as if it would be sold in a store. So for those watermelons, all of the costs are low. We have low costs. The capital costs are quite low, the labor costs are low, also the land costs are low. There aren't so many other useful things you can do with that land. The key point here is that when you take that watermelon in San Agustin and it goes up for sale, depending on the size or the quality, but basically it sells for in the range of five to seven U.S. dollars. For your convenience, that's converting Mexican pesos into U.S. dollars, of course. What I find striking is the comparison between the watermelon in San Agustin and the watermelons as you find them in a U.S. supermarket. Watermelons in the United States are farmed using modern techniques. They also may be transported from a state like Texas or Florida to wherever it is your supermarket is. The supermarket itself has fairly high expenses. They may be advertising the sale of watermelons. There are refrigeration costs and much, much more. The thing is, the American retail infrastructure is producing and selling a large number of watermelons. So all of those costs are spread out over, as I said, a very large number of watermelons. Per watermelon, those costs end up being so low that what a watermelon sells for in the United States is about from five to seven dollars, again, depending on exact size, quality, and time of year. And that's exactly the same price that it sells for in San Agustin Wapan. The lesson here is one of economies of scale. In the San Agustin economy, it's literally the case that most of the important costs are zero or near zero. In the United States, you can see what appear to be a large number of quite significant costs. But again, when you spread out those costs over a large number of production units, per unit, those costs also are extremely small. You can think of this as an object lesson in the efficiency of food systems and food distribution and retail systems, which can take advantage of economies of scale.